All right, today we're going to talk about this new toy. I Did I say toy? I didn't mean to say toy. What I meant to say was this very necessary workshop tool I just picked up, the Handtech USB uh, oscilloscope. Now we'll go over the uh, particular details of it here in just a minute. From Handtech.com, I bought it from Amazon because I am impatient. So here is the actual unit. It's about 10 inches by about 4 inches by about 1 inch. On the back we have a USB type B connector. On the front we have a BNC for our two channels and a 1 kilohertz 2 volt peak to peak square wave generator to test everything out. Now this is an aluminum case and it's got this soft plastic on it. So, you know, you can sit it vertically, horizontally, or vertically on your workbench, whatever it is comfortable. Now, inside along with that was the bag that has our two probes and the probes are switchable X1, X10. They have a compensation adjustment on the BNC jack and they are color coded so you don't lose track of which one is connected to what. Also inside is this little bag that contains some more colored goodies and these little locating caps that fit over the end of the probe. A adjustment tool, which even though it says not to use anything metal on it, that is a quite metallic tip. And the software, which is included on a little mini CD. You also get two pieces of paper, the user guide, so it says, for the 6000 series. And basically, it just tells you how to adjust your probe compensation, which is pretty easy. Now, this is the 6200 or 60, 6022BE. So it is. Uh, 20 megahertz with a rise time of 17.5 nanoseconds, attenuation ratio of 1 and 10, input resistance of 1 to 10 mega ohm, input capacitance at 1x of 70 to 120 picofarad, at 10x of 14 to 18 picofarad, maximum input at 1x is 200 working voltage, at 10x 600 times working voltage, compensation range 50 to 45 puffs operating environment um, 0 to 50 degrees Celsius 0 to 80 percent relative humidity storage environment minus 20 to 60 size it says 110 centimeters I don't know what that means weight about 55 grams all right well I'll believe it so let's go over to it's our it's hooked up it is on, so I'm going to attach the uh, this ground clamp to the little ground doohickey here and the little grabber tip to the square wave generator and we'll head on over to the PC and take a look at the software. Alright, so here we are looking at the software and let's take a tour we have our regular file view Hor here we have our horizontal menu which allows you to adjust time division and format between y-axis and time or xy we have our vertical 
channel 1 on, volt division adjust, channel 2, turn it on, volt division adjust. We have trigger, mode is on edge, sweep is on auto, source is channel 1, and we're doing it on the rising edge. Display type, we can have vectors or dots. Uh, we can turn the grid on or off and we can adjust the intensity. Then we have different types of cursors. We'll get into that in a moment. We have uh, under utility calibrate default setup interpolation and language. And then we have help. Over here we have the control panel and if you click scope it's the only thing there. Now we have blue for channel one here. I'm sorry. Blue is our horizontal and you can see we're set for 500 microseconds. Now from what I've read online and from my playing with this I found the best thing to do is to hit the auto set button let it find its own way and you get a much more stable view and then you can you know zoom in and out and adjust it for what you need to see okay so over here we have our time division which you can adjust via the menu or via the knob and you know our vertical versus time or XY now here is our channel one vertical controls we're looking at one volt per division so two volts peak to peak DC couple that is the only thing it allows us our probe is uh, on X10 so we are on X10 and it gives you the opportunity to use different probes so there's no problems there and we can also invert the signal if need be now since this is a two channel scope I plugged in our channel 2 connector and give me just a second I am going to hook it up to the Elenco function generator and bring us a sine wave if the gods are with us on this New Year's Eve. Okay. So there is that. Let's see if we can straighten her out a little bit here. So there is our sine wave on top of our square wave. We should be able to grab this cursor here and bring that guy down. Then we can bring this one up so that we're separating our waves. Now you can see here we're also at one volt per division DC coupled and whoops that needs to be on X10. And of course we can also invert that wave. But if we bring them back to the zero line interesting now um, some of the interesting things we can do with the cursors is if we wish I'm going to shut off channel 2 for a minute if we want to measure frequency we can turn on the vertical cursor click and drag for one cycle and it measures the frequency for us you can see we're at 997.5 kilohertz with a one millisecond time we can grab our horizontal cursor and see we are at two volts peak to peak then we also have a cross cursor which gives us all of those things then we also have no cursor then if we go into our maths 
we can put channels A and B together there is A plus B, let me see, let me try and bring this down, hold on a second uh. alright so our purple is A plus B and we can also do A minus B A times B A divided by B and a fast Fourier transform the A times B uh, gives us a really unique looking waveform there but anyway that is the math function Um, I'm going to switch channel 1 off. So now we are looking at channel 2. I'm going to hit auto. Allow it to set itself. Oh. Channel 2. Change my trigger channel 2. Now we'll try her again. And you can see the contro controls adjusting themselves. Alright, so we'll... Hello? Now you see we also have our trigger over here. And we'll switch to a triangle waveform. And yeah, I mean it, it's a uh, it's pretty cool. For the price I paid for this, $59. And you know, if you have patience, which I don't you know you can get it even cheaper from China this will do what you need to do uh, I'm gonna tack on a little video here at the end of the probe compensation so you can see how it looked originally and how I adjusted it I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please uh, give me a thumbs up share it and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet why haven't you? You're watching. Subscribe. All right.